In this video, we are going to learn about transducers and sensors. So, what is a transducer? Transducer is a device which con converts one form of energy into another form. This is the definition. Transducer is a device that is used to convert a physical quantity into its corresponding electrical signal or vice versa. That means if you have a mic, mic acts as an input. So our voice will be converted to electrical signal. This is mic, electrical signal. So this is a transducer. It converts mechanical vibrations to electrical signal. Similarly, our speaker. Speaker is also a transducer, but it converts electrical energy into sound. Sound energy. So, transducer is a device that is used to convert a physical quantity to electrical quantity or electrical quantity to another physical quantity. For that, from transfer of energy from one form to another form. That is what transducer. Then, what is sensor? Sensor. This sensors sensors the input device that uh, performs an input function. The sensors are almost everywhere is used as inputs. Inputs. So sensor is a device which senses the input. That is what a sensor. So in this diagram you can see sound waves are coming to the microphone right so microphone and from there the electrical signal is generated here this electrical signal is generated then that goes to the amplifier it amplifies and the amplified signal is given to the speaker so sound is again generated so this speaker also a transducer, this mic also a transducer, this is mic also transducer, this speaker also a transducer. In between is the signal processing as per our requirement. Whether we want to drive a speaker or we drive a motor, it depends on the user. Now we will see some of the commonly used sensors. Now we will see the what is the physical quantity we want to play with that is light let light light so what are the sensors we have related to light we have ldr light dependent resistor then what else we have we have photodiode these all detect the light this also photodiode then what else we have we have ldr photodiode solar cell solar cell also receive light solar cell then phototransistor 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 next what is other quantity you tell me which are the other quantity we measure that is uh, temperature we measure temperature okay temperature for temperature what are the sensors we have you will say first what you will say thermocouple. The coming videos we will see what all these sensors thermocouple. Then one more device is there RTD resistance temperature detector RTD resistance 
temperature detector. I'll write it here. Temperature detector. That is what RTD. Then what else is there to measure temperature? Uh, anything else? Thermistor. Thermistor also a device we use in our electronic circuit. Thermistor. Thermistor. Uh, then light temperature. Then we have another quantity that is also force. Force or pressure. Right. Force or pressure. This also we need to sense and measurement and all we will use this force. Have you seen weighing scale? This is one of the application. Weighing scale. Weighing scale, but actually what is used in weighing scale? Load cells. Load cell. Load cell. That load cell is a sensor. Then we have a strain gauge. Strain gauge. This will give you an idea about the what are the available sensors strain gauge. Uh, there is one more one more is there that is a pressure switch. Pressure switch. Pressure switch. Okay, now we will see what is the other thing light temperature force then position. Uh, position also an important quantity we have to measure in automation and all. So for the position we use potentiometer. Potentiometer that is a variable resistor. It rotates. From that rotation we will get the idea. Then encoder. In the washing machine panel and all one rotating knob will be there. That is actually encoder. Ah, then LVDT. Linear Variable Differential Transformer LVDT Ok, these are the popular ones Then again what we have After position what is the quantity speed Speed also We have to measure and process many times Those that one of the sensor is TACO generator This is used with the motors What speed motor is rotating to find so the sensor name is TACO generator. Then the traffic light, traffic signal alert if you jump, there is a sensor to find that is a Doppler based sensor. Doppler, Doppler sensor. This also measures speed. Doppler sensor. And finally we have sound. Sound we know mic, right? But like there are different types of mic. It's a carbon mic. Carbon mic is a carbon mic is a common one. Carbon mic and uh, piece of piece of crystal. So these are the uh, basic types of sensors, and the, those sensors are used for this particular kind of. Even other sensors are there: accelerometer, uh, GPS to for the angular measurement all those are there but these are the basic things we should know so in the coming lectures what we will do we will study about each sensors and their properties and mainly next lecture we will focus on analog and digital sensors and active and passive sensors so thanks for watching if you like the video please share with your friends and hit the like button thanks